Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamea's Promo. And today we're gonna be talking about different USI pens or USI styluses that you can use on Chromebooks. So it doesn't matter if you have a Chromebook from HP, Asus, Lenovo, Samsung, whatever the case may be. If you're looking for different styluses, I mean, there's really not that many to choose from between iPlume, uh, you also have this USI stylus, it's a pretty generic name, but that's actually this one over here, which is Vital ASC. And we also have Penoval, and that's this option right up over here. Now, I was really mostly curious on which one would work which one was better some of the pros the cons just so then this way i can relate it over to you guys uh, and i do have one of these two is my favorite and the one that i would highly suggest now pretty much the price is the exact same for all of these which makes it pretty crazy to think that this one and this one are pretty much the exact same price maybe a difference of one dollar but one of them just has more features and just a little bit better in general so if you are searching on amazon you're searching for which you know usi pen to look for i will be placing both of these below the video inside the description especially with the one that i do recommend so let's just go through i'm going to head right back home over here uh, and what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up both of these and then i'm going to explain to you uh basically which one i like the most so let's just go with this one up over here penoval so this one is very simple it's very basic both of these have really good reviews on amazon i did not get the other one, the, the iPlume, just because it didn't really have many purchases, it didn't have many reviews, so I didn't really trust it. So I went with this one here. This one's very basic, very easy. It comes with your battery. Now these do not need to be connected with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, that actually just works. Um, and it also does come with one replacement tip right up over here. So don't lose, you know, don't get rid of this little box right here, um, just because you might use that here in the near future. So what you wanna do is you wanna open this one up. You wanna place the positive down first. Then you're just gonna scroll or uh, turn this one right back in. So now that you have this one going, this one actually feels like a normal pen. That's actually one of the main things I like about this one here is that it looks like a pen, feels like a pen. There's no buttons and it just has that little, you know, uh, battery on the inside. But once you get this thing going, there's no pairing. There's nothing I need to do. You know, this thing, it, uh, it just works. So right up on the very bottom over here, let's say that we open this up. Let's say that I wanted to create a note. Now, all of these does have pretty much the same pressure points on here. I believe it's like 4,000 something pressure point. I thought one of these actually stated Let's see, where did it state that? Here it is, is on this box right over here. It has over, uh, it has that 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity. It has the replaceable pen tips, the, the power sources, the battery and things like that. So when you go through and you wanted to, you know, make your, uh, you know, drawings, notes, you can see that you can get it thicker, you can get it uh, thinner. You know, so as you're going through and you're drawing, I mean, on this particular Chromebook here, you know, I am using Keep Notes, things like that. It does also have the, uh, you know, the palm rejection. So when you are laying your palm on the screen, it doesn't take away from what you are drawing. Uh, and it actually does a really good job. So now the only thing I do want to mention as well is that it kind of comes down to, you know, what you're using your Chromebook for and what you're drawing with, which applications and programs you're using, because then that's really going to define which of these pens you should actually get. So if you're looking for something that's just very simple, plain, easy, something that just looks good, performs well, then this is going to be a really good pen for you. Uh, you know, I can also do like, you know, capture region uh, so you can select things. I mean, it, it does what it needs to do and it does a really good job. So now let's go through and let's take a look over at this Vital ASC. And this is the one that I do suggest for you guys to use. If you're somebody who uses more programs and applications than just taking regular notes and taking screenshots, because that's where this, these two buttons come into play. There's an eraser and then basically like the right click on a mouse. So this is the one that I'll suggest for you guys. If you are using a little bit more highly intensive, you know, applications and things you know, when it comes down to uh, using your USI pens. And so here's the compatible list. And really it's gonna be probably the exact same thing here with these. Uh, you got your Asus, HP, Lenovo. And honestly, I mean, this is a Samsung right over here. It's just brand new. I didn't really talk about it here on this list just because it wasn't out yet. You can also take a look at some of the continuous usage. So for this one, uh, you'll notice that this one does not have a battery but it's actually one that's micro USB charging, which is another reason why I'm suggesting this pen is not only just the additional buttons for the additional applications and programs and usage that you can use, uh, but also just because it's rechargeable, so then you wouldn't have to go through and, and purchase batteries and things like that. Uh, so you'll have 120 hour standby time, 180 days max. And again, charging time is gonna be with uh, micro USB. Uh, the other thing that's on the inside of here too that I also would like to suggest, let's see, once you take this one out, is that it does on this one here have three 
uh, replaceable tips. So when you take a look inside of here, instead of just the one, you have three replaceable tips. You have it being able to be recharged here with the micro USB cable. Uh, and it also has those two buttons uh, that the other did not have. So again, when you take a look at this one, it almost looks like a laser pointer. I kind of wish that this, you know, maybe maybe they have a black option. I didn't look, but I wish that they had a black option. And with these buttons here, it actually, especially with the sticker, it looks like it's a laser pointer, but it in fact is not. When you scroll open this very top up over here, uh, this is where you'd be able to charge it with the micro USB. So going back to this Pinovo, this one's very, you know, simple. It's It looks like a pen. It does not have any buttons to really turn on. It just basically sinks and works and goes. With this one over here, you do have to press this button right there to get it turned on. When it's blinking blue, it means it's activating, turning on. Uh, there's really nothing you need to do. I didn't even really mean to go inside of the settings. This just kind of popped up from earlier when I placed the pen on the screen. Um, but there's nothing you need to do with this one. And then this one also works uh, just as well. So when you go through and you play around with really, uh, you know, any of these applications, things like that, that's where you want to take a look at these buttons here. So you do have the, that right click over here, but when it comes down to the, the keep notes or whatever I'm actually using right now, it, it really doesn't activate with that. Um, also too, the same thing with the eraser. It really depends on the, the program or application that you are using. So taking a look you know, at the tips as well. You can see that when it comes down to the Pinovo, uh, this one does have a little bit smaller, finer of a tip. And then when it comes down to the Vital ASC, that has two buttons and micro USB charging. Uh, this one has a little bit bigger of a tip as well too. Now, I feel like this one would be a little bit better when it comes down to the sensitiveness, when it comes down to that 4,000, what is it? 4096 levels of pressure. I feel that this one would be a little bit more accurate just because it has a bigger give, a bigger clearance of where you're able to really perform, you know, with either barely lightly touching versus, you know, pressing harder and harder and harder. Again, it also depends on which uh, program you are writing with, but I wanted to make this one very simple and easy and straight to the point really for you guys is, you know, depending on what you are using, when it comes down to the applications, you know, these things, uh, you know, is gonna choose which one you should pur purchase. But out of just the box and of everything that's happening here, I would suggest this one right here, the Vital ASC. The reason why is because they're basically the exact same price. They're only $1 different. Um, but what this one is giving you here is you do have two buttons. You have your right click, you have the eraser button and you're able to charge it with the micro USB and you have three additional replacement tips. So with all of that stated, now you're taking a look at this guy over here, even though this one looks like a pen and it actually looks really, you know, really cool. I do, so, you know, I like to look at this one better than silver, but this one only has one replaceable tip and you have to replace it with the battery that's on the inside of here. So sometimes when you have things that's powered by battery versus something that you just plug in, I mean, really the times have changed. We've moved along from the analog over into digital. So I wouldn't really suggest this one unless if you like the looks of it, you want it to be very simple, plain, basic. You want it to look like a pen. This is the one for you. Now, if you really wanna have something that is going with the times, something that you can charge with micro USB, something that automatically turns off, uh, something that also has a right click and eraser as well as more replaceable tips, uh, then this is the one that I would suggest for you because maybe right out of the box, you might not use these buttons, but maybe in the future, you'll find an application or program that you will. So that is today's video. Hopefully that really kind of spelled it all out for you guys on which one I think is better. Uh, we're gonna go with the Vital ASC. Again, both of these will be linked below the video inside the description. But again, if you guys like this video, give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.